Hey, it's Julie from Fitmise. So I wanna go over some exercises that you can do if you're feeling any pain on the inside of your knee. Um, so a lot of times I, I get some clients that talk about having pain on the inside of their kneecap on the inside or just underneath their kneecap. And what happens with that is that a lot of times is what's going on is that it's actually a glute medius or um, the outside of your butt, basically where the curve of your butt is, uh, that muscle is not working or has a little bit of amnesia. So we basically have to get the brain connecting there. And also um, your vastus medialis, which is uh, your VML right here, There's, it's actually a quad muscle. Um, it could be going weak, so what happens, your knee caves in, and so you might be feeling some pull there. Um, could be your hip flexor as well, uh, but most of the time it is your glute, and it actually could be coming up a little bit higher from your thoracic. But what I wanna do is just go over some exercises um, that can help you relieve any of that pain to see um, uh, if that will help. And as well, you would what you would do is couple it with some strength exercises um, after you do the, the release. Um, the other thing is that it could also be your calves. Um, so your calves might be a little bit tight, so I'll, I'll review that. So the biggest thing you need is uh, a ball. Um, so if you have your MB5 ball, you can also use a lacrosse ball. That works as well. Um, but the key is I like to use the little, a little bit bigger ball so I can get off the ground and do a little bit more work. So what we're gonna do is I'll do my right side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay um, right on the outside of your butt cheek. So you're just gonna lean to the side um, and you're just gonna hang out and see if you can find any tender spots in there. So what you wanna do is you find that hip bone and you're just gonna like um, move your hip a little bit forward. So you're gonna find that butt cheek and you're just gonna uh, roll around and find any tender spots. If there's something tender, hang out and breathe for about 30 to 60 seconds. I like to do about three to five breaths and just hang out with it. So what you wanna do is you wanna feel that release. You wanna feel that melt away, okay? And then if you do feel it's like, oh, it's not too bad, let's add some movement and see how we do, okay? So what we're gonna do is do the knee flop. So right now, we're just hanging out on that glute meat and trying that knee flop, and that's actually not too bad. If that doesn't feel, if it feels okay, then hang out with it. I usually like to do about 10 of these. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the full extension. So what you wanna do is bring that knee into your chest and extend that leg straight out. Bring that knee to your chest and extend straight up. Again, staying on the outside of that butt cheek here. So you're just gonna go in and out again about 10 times. If you wanna add um, forward and backwards with your foot as well, play around, add some movement in there and see what, what goes on. If you can handle, if that's too hard on your wrist, you're more than welcome to go down to your elbow and hang out again. So flopping that knee up and down hanging out, whatever you, whatever works for you, hang out with it, okay? So whatever, if you feel extreme pain today, remember that if you try it a little bit later today, or even tomorrow, it won't be as bad. So we're just trying to get some brain connecting to that. We wanna get some flood, um, some blood flow and open the gates and try to break up any dams that we might have so your brain's actually able to connect and get flowing energy from top to bottom. Okay, so that's the glute um, medius. So if you might actually be tight on that, what's called your TFL, there's a little muscle right on the side of your hip here, you can try that as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay on our elbow. You're gonna basically, so if I'm on my glute here, my butt, I'm little, my hips a little bit forward, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my hip back, I'm gonna lay right on my side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that hip bone and go just below that hip bone and find, see if there's any tender spots. You're trying to point that hip bone right to the ground. And again, if you feel tenderness, hang out right here. And then if you can add some movement with the knee up and down, or this one, really focus on that extension. This will allow the hip um, to release because it connects the front and the back of the hip. So what you wanna do is again, add that full extension back and forth here. So 10, 10 reps, if you will, of that one. So the next thing you can do is we can roll to the front of your hip flexor. So here's my hip bone. We're gonna go just below, right? There's a point in there. A lacrosse ball works really well if you um, are super tender in there. But what you're gonna do is just push that hip, find that spot, see if you can find a tender spot in there. I found it. What I do again is hang out and breathe for about 10, uh, 10 well 30 seconds, about 10 breaths or so. Just fill your belly and exhale if you can just come right down to your forearms or forehead on your forearms if you want and just hang out and breathe work on your crocodile breathing so remember you're not trying to trap any tension and stress in your shoulders you're trying to keep it more in your gut if you can add some movement with the heel so we're going to go about 10 of these guys as well so again just explore and figure out what's going on okay so now if that's tender what we're going to do is we're going to move it down the thigh okay so i'm going to go about a quarter way down the thigh there's going to be a tender spot right in there again hang out and breathe if you can add your movement 
please do so. So the movement's gonna allow you to uh, release the fascia a little bit more than if you just hang out and stay on that trigger point, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll right to the inside of the knee. That's where a lot of people have a lot of tension. We're gonna hang out right here and push that knee. All I'm doing is I'm pushing that knee right into that ball. Okay, so again, you can bring your heel to your bum, adding that movement. So when you're going up and down stairs, you might feel some strain, pain, anything like that. So what we wanna do is just try to uh, add the movement and mimic that. And then here, what you can do is also add ankle circles if you want um, to work on your calf movement, which we're gonna get into next, okay? So again, breathe and add some movement if you can. And now we're gonna get into the calves. So there's two points in your calves that you wanna work on. One is basically, there's the bone here, your tip fib connection right here. So there's a bone, we're gonna go just below that, okay? So what we wanna do is you're gonna put your ball right here on the, bot the bottom, uh, the, the calf on the outside. Put your hand on top and what we wanna do is roll here, okay? So you just wanna roll that out. Might be crunchy, might be tender, all that sort of thing, but that's okay. So what we wanna do is find that tender spot and then add the movement of the ankle. Release any tension and stress you might have in that ankle and see if you can let that go. Okay, and then you're just gonna again roll up and down. Again, focus on breathing. Uh, releasing, uh, breathing allows the blood flow to go from head to toe, so we have, can't forget that. Because a lot of times when it's very tender and, and tense, we tend to hold our breath, so we wanna try to release that. All right, and the one on the inside of the calf, what I like to do here is extend my leg. I'm gonna turn my leg slightly to the inside, and what I'm gonna do is put my other foot on top, and what I wanna do is add my ankle circles back and forth. Here, so we want to do is just try to find that tender spot. This tends to be very tender on most people, especially if you sit um, for a long time or if you do lots and lots of walking. This tends to get uh, locked up, especially because we tend to lose our um, movement pattern if we're walking for too long because we get so fatigued. So what we want to do is release the calves and allow the uh, flow to connect up to uh, from the floor to all the way to your head, essentially. Okay, so those are the stretches that you wanna work on or exercises that you wanna work on just to release. So this is what you would do technically after um, your exercise. Um, you can do it at the beginning if you want just to get some um, awareness of what's going on and get some blood flow. Um, it would be just a quick, I wouldn't do as many as 10, but um, you can just start with that. But definitely afterwards just to continue to blood flow so things don't get all uh, seized up or anything like that. From here, what you would do is work on some strength exercises, and that would be uh, another video to follow. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Hope this was helpful.